It is 846, again, right at freezing downtown. Happening today, the opening of a compelling new exhibit downtown. The Heron School of Art and Design at IUPUI is hosting the Museum of Broken Relationships Indianapolis. It is essentially a local version of a global crowdsourced art project featuring items and stories of heartbreak. Dr. Laura Holtzman is here, the director of IUPUI's Museum Studies Program. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. And one of the visionaries of this is here as well. Drashen Grubasic is one of the founders of the, the global project that started in your home country <laughs> with your thoughts. Let's begin there. This is coming up on 20 years ago for you. How did it start? What was the, the, oh, the genesis of it? Uh, uh, really simple. It came from a breakup, of course. So uh, Universal. Olen uh, uh was a co-creator. And myself used to be a couple ages ago, and the time came to, you know, break up. And there was this discussion we had. Uh, it was not turbulent. It was really like low key mm -hmm. breakup. And this discussion that I guess everyone found themselves in. Um, what are we going to do with the stuff? Mm. And some things are easy. You know, you use this, you use that, the TV or whatever. But some things are just uh, tokens of love, of affection that, you know, came back and forth during these five years that we were together. And just the idea of having this with you now, after the breakup, was kind of terrifying. And sure. we thought what would be, well, there must be a place where we can send this away, you know, and we started Googling and there wasn't one. And we thought, well, this might do a good art project. And it started as an art project. It was never meant to be a museum. Uh, it was never meant to live for almost 20 years. But it is, and it, and it, it, is. And it started yeah. with the museum there, yeah. and now we say the museum, but, it, but it were, dozens of communities have hosted these, and, and so that's moved to Indianapolis now. And Dr. Holtzman, how, how did you hear about this, the folks that you work with, how did this become a Central Indiana thing? So I first learned about the project through my colleague, Dr. Lois Silverman, mm -hmm. who's another professor in the Museum Studies program. She had encountered the Museum of Broken Relationships when doing research many years ago, and she planted the seed that maybe we should collaborate on bringing the Museum of Broken Relationships to Indianapolis and, and doing a project together. And you involve your students then? Yes. How does that work? How how does this come together? Do you talk to Drajan and he says, this is what I want in the museum? <laughs> or it's just like, oh, this will be fun to see what you come up with. No, it's really a fabulous collaboration. Mm -hmm. So I worked with my students um, in the fall semester. They were learning about how to put together an exhibition, how to tell stories with objects and with people. Um, and we had a number of phone calls actually on Zoom. Drajan and Olinka joined us in class. We talked with them to learn more about the museum. They talked with us to learn more about Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they've done this many times in many communities, so there was a, a process that we could rely on. And the students really helped reach out to folks in Indianapolis to invite them to donate their objects and stories to the exhibit that we would be creating here. And then the students helped figure out how to blend those objects and stories sure. with stories and objects from the global collection to make something really unique in Indianapolis. Uh, I know you're going to speak this evening along with your co-creator and we'll get to the details in a minute. First though, quickly, have you seen it and are you pleased with it? Of course. <laughs> are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. The smile is good. Let's go ahead and show the information. Again, this is a collection of items that symbolize heartbreak. This evening from 6 to 7.30 at Eskenazi Hall, uh, there'll be this event today. Is this a sold out thing or could people still go? Oh, people can still come. Okay. Yeah. And then the ex ex exhibit, exhibition, is here until mid-late April? Yes, April 22nd it runs through. Uh, charge to get in? No, it's totally free. It is free. And it should be said as well, this is heartbreak, but it, there's humor in this. There's nostalgia in this. There are all there's sorts of things that run through. through. There's really everything in it. I will be going. This, is, this sounds fascinating. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. And thank you both for being with us to sort of help get everybody interested in it. Thank you. Thank you. 